This video will illustrate how to calibrate temperature after replacing a cartridge on the 1-540 thermal valve. The cartridge has just been replaced and now we will begin calibration. It is worth noting that the temperature control stop will be placed on the cartridge itself once we achieve a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Once we achieve that temperature, you can see the stop, the stops built into the design of the temperature control stop fitting. It will be placed such that the stops are at the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock position like this. Before doing that, however, we must check the water temperature and make sure we're at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If we are not at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we can adjust the temperature up or down prior to installing the temperature control stop and then the associated trim afterwards. Turning on the supply to the shower head and using a bowl to collect water along with a thermal couple device, we can record water temperature. Here you can see we are above the 100 degree Fahrenheit target. Seeing this, the technician will take the cartridge and rotate it clockwise. This will result in a lower temperature and possibly 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Checking the water sample and looking at the temperature, you can see we are really close to 100 degrees. Maybe a half degree or one degree above 100. So maybe just a slight turn, a little bit further in the clockwise direction, just a little bit, tweak it. We're using the trim fitting to engage the cartridge to rotate it. Collect the water again against the thermal couple and see where we're at with respect to the temperature. Make sure the thermal couple is in the fully submerged in the water so you do not get erratic temperatures. Let's see what's going on here. So we're collecting the water in the bowl, the thermal couple is in the bowl, and we're getting a temperature reading that's still too high. So going through this process, Getting close to the 100 degrees. You can see what the technician is doing here. Put himself in a position to uh, dial it into 100, which it looks like he's very close to doing. And that looks pretty damn good. He's within a half of a degree Fahrenheit. So now that we're at 100, we're in a position to install the temperature limit stop to the position we showed you at the beginning of this video. And there you can see it. We're now ready to install the trim.